Right, so <laughs> hello again. I'm, uh, I'm here today on my own. I'm trying to find a route to go where they basically where they aren't so I could get so next time when Tom comes in a, however long it is we can find the route to the shaman tree without <coughs> disturbing them so I've got to keep quiet although the ground's very noisy and scrunchy but I'm going to try and figure out a way so basically before we were up there and then we walked this way now I'm much further this way and I'm going to walk up towards the that way I won't go all the way there. I'm just trying to find a route uh, to it that's not going to attract their attention. So, I'm, you know, I've come in from a, a different angle, and then we'll, uh, you know, next time we'll, we'll, if this works, we'll take this route up to the uh, correct location. So. So I was just checking. There's quite often they'll use little things like this for putting little, not notes, but uh, you know, like communications and things. So they'll keep it from the rain. There's nothing in there. Just uh, obviously, if there's any fresh, uh, um, you know, if I see any directionals or any anything like that, it shows that they're around. And I found nothing so far. So that's that's good. I was taking a little break and then I'll carry on up. So I'm working on another print, another lino cut. I'm just doing, I'm sort of in, in the middle of doing it at the moment. So I'd appreciate it if anybody wants to buy that. It's of this tribe, the Scalver tribe. Uh, so it's 50, limited edition of 50. Then some droppings there, rabbit droppings. It's always interesting when you get them between the trees. Uh, because this is the sort of thing, I would pick them up. I don't really want to, they are there. Uh, I'll show a close-up of them. Not that you really want to see rabbit droppings, but um, you know, they'll, they'll roots that rabbits take like this. They'll often set traps up. And there's nothing here, which is a good thing because it shows they're not really using this part of the woods. Could have been an abandoned dwelling. That rock, it's not part of this one, it looks like it's been put there, but they wouldn't be able to obviously uh, lift that anyway. But they are capable of doing some, uh, you know, clever tactics to, to move heavy objects just in the way that we, you know, we managed to make Stonehenge. So. But I don't, I don't know if it is, I don't, there's nothing, no apparent entrances going further. I think there's just solid rock at the back there. Anyway, it's a distraction. You can make out a face in that, uh, tumour that's growing out of the tree. I, I did a video on that as well a while back. That's um, basically they, they they rub things into the bark and it makes it grow in certain areas and they can control it. So that's that could mark possibly uh, the edge of their territory. Uh, they put them around not just doing that but they basically they'll They'll do, uh, you know, like scary looking faces and things at the, at the edges of boundaries to keep uh, unwanted uh, you know spirits and things out of their uh, area so that's what that could be there's a little trail which runs down here and it's I think it's been used because I found some directionals this isn't one but I'm just showing uh, I wasn't sure actually if it was at the start so I didn't film it but then there was a couple Basically, it's like a way of, I think I explained it before, but it's like a way of communicating to others uh, where, where the, there's various different degrees of information in them, but a simple one would just say, I went that way, which is the, plant, the way that it grows, beyond the ground. This one will point towards the sun and say that was the time of day. You can get more elaborate ones. Different tribes use different methods, but there's 
you know, you can show the different days, uh, who it was, you know, all sorts of different information. Anyway, I'm, I'm sort of slightly, uh, I don't think they're fresh, but you never know. So I'm um, keeping the voice down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> right. Back on. It's quite easy sometimes to just <laughs> imagine things when you're when you're out and about that, that aren't really there. Um, but on top of that, that little mound there, there appears to be like a little stick with a flying saucer looking thing on the end. And uh, that's definitely not one of ours because we were miles away when we did it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, I'll, go, I'll bring the camera up and we'll have a look. Right, well, I, unfortunately, this popped out the end when I fiddly with this. I didn't catch that. It sort of almost popped out. It's got a, a rubbery sort of ending and it was coiled up in there. Uh, this is obviously meant to resemble a flying saucer. I thought it was originally a flying saucer that they'd coated in some horrible... It smells like tree sap. It's very sticky, but it's not sugary sticky. Although I don't dare lick it, but it's uh, got that tree sappy smell to it. Uh, so that was in there like that, basically. And uh, it's curious, but I've not seen anything quite like that before. They're obviously imitating what I did the other day. I, I don't know. I, I sort of feel bad taking it. I think I might just leave it there just in case it's any other reason they've, they've put it there. Um, also just wanted to say... Uh, I noticed that uh, the other day it got to 300,000 subscribers, so I wanted to... Uh, oh, right, OK, hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm being, I've been rumbled. They're, they are watching me, so this is obviously some sort of lure. Hold on. Let me get to the uh, camera, and I'll just... So this one in the middle seems to be the, uh, the ringleader, if at all. He's just he's gesturing up to the one at the top. Uh, They've all got their hoods down, which is slightly annoying, seeing as I've just drawn it up in the uh, in the print, gesturing back again. There's also another one just down, just down there. You can see. So they must have put that flying saucer there deliberately. Are you? Where's he off to? Right. Well, obviously I can't stick around. They didn't seem particularly aggressive. They just, uh, in fact, if anything, they were being quite friendly. But uh, I'm not going to make it to the shaman tree, to be honest. I'm not even sure if I'm in the right place. So they're not following me. Uh, well, I have to think of another tactic before, <laughs> before Tom comes back. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it for this bird video. I'll uh, see you again in the next one. Right, cheerio. Oh, and buy the print, <laughs> please. Uh, keeps me in, you know, doing this. Oh, and ring the, uh, do the bell thing. I've got the bell, the little, uh, that's out of focus anyway. Right. Yep. Subscribe! That's what I meant to say. <laughs>